I've lost connection to just a reckless abandon where I cared more about the possibility of something happening than whether or not it did actually happen. So earlier this week I was having a conversation with my friend and colleague Simon and we were talking about reconnecting with the playfulness from childhood and magic and the magic of possibility. And I just remembered when I was young I used to play basketball. Now, when I say I used to play basketball, that would be in the rare circumstances when the coach would actually put me in because the team was so far ahead that whatever the hell Morgan did on the court which usually wasn't anything uh, very effective, uh, it didn't matter, who couldn't risk losing. So I was really bad, but I played for years, CYL basketball, but I, I had fun. I actually, obviously enjoyed it, I wouldn't have gone back, so why did I enjoy it so much but suck so bad? I just remember being more enamored with the possibility that the ball might go in the net than whether or not it actually went in. I didn't care that much about the achievement of the goal. The surface result was that I sucked at it, in baseball, I got it put out in the outfield, and most of the time I was interested in how far I could kick the dandelions. Morgan, heads up! Oops. You know? What I realized, you know, that all these years playing sports, like this recklessness, this reckless abandon, this rogue, this, this caring more about um, the mystery and the magic of what would happen once this ball goes into the air, once I, once I no longer have total control over the outcome, ooh, what might happen? And reconnecting with that, with Simon in a conversation, I was like, shit, I want more of that in my life right now. I've lost connection to that. I've lost connection to just a reckless abandon where I cared more about the possibility of something happening than whether or not it did actually happen. I, I was more about enjoying the journey of the ball from leaving my hands until where it ended up. That magic, that uncertainty was the, was the bliss. And getting it in was kind of fun, but it just didn't matter as much. So I hung up the phone with Simon and uh, I drove to the sports store here. I bought a basketball. I never thought I'd hold a basketball ever again. And I uh, shot hoops for an hour or, or more. I mean, I still suck. <laughs> you can see from the footage, I suck. I don't get them in very often. But why I wanted to come and do this and why I've done it is so that I could just reconnect in my body feel again what it's like to allow the ball to leave your hands and to enjoy so much of what it's doing in the air. It's just throwing ridiculous shots. It's almost like we call them Hail Mary shots. Like it's not gonna go in and there's like a one in a billion chance, but I love that, I love that Hail Mary shot. I love that, I was like, oh, imagine if it did go in. Imagine if that ridiculous shot did go in. And so yeah, I was talking about that with Simon too and he's like, we're talking about, well what if you just started taking Hail Mary shots in, in life, in work, in, in the things that you do? And just because there's no downside. And what if you did it not because you needed it or wanted it to go in, but because what if it did? And enjoying that journey, that possibility, if it did uh, as, it, as, it, as it soared through the air, as a thing you threw out there, soared through the air. As I was playing, I also was connecting with uh, an insight that I've been really focusing on over the past few years, which is slowing down. Um, slowing down and focusing on the end result. When I stood at the line and, 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 and actually pictured the ball going through the net and slowed down and focused on the result that I wanted to create, I found that even though I don't have much talent at basketball, I still had some influence over the result. Now I couldn't guarantee it went in, but I could affect the future. I could affect the end result. I like to think about the thing that I'm physically doing, while at the same time thinking about work, thinking about relationships, thinking about life. Well, I could be releasing things in this way and work and things like that, so it, for me it's kind of a meditation in a way. There is a sweet spot between the freedom of all the ball being in the air and that possibility of it going in and not really caring whether or not it does, but just enjoying that magic. The other side is that focus on the end result, that focus on the outcome, and there's a sweet spot between those two. And that's really what I've been kind of playing with by being out here, like being focused on the end result, letting it go into the air, and then being more enamored with that journey of the ball through the air and that possibility than whether or not it does go in or not. It's the, it's the sweet spot between creating and attachment. I think about it all the time, right? It's, like, it's a great concept to think about, but, but, but doing it with your body and, and getting back into it in the way that you did it and it's familiar when you were a kid. For me, that's been really powerful, and uh, I'm gonna keep coming out here and shooting hoops more often, so I can get it more, uh, get more viscerally connected to it. Anyway, just wanted to add that little piece. Much love.
So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the button, and also share with your friends, share the love, tweet it, Facebook it, Google Plus it, LinkedIn it, whatever you do, get it out there. And of course, if you really want to engage in this idea, down below in the comments, the discussion, the dialogue is where the best insights come. Challenge me, ask me questions, I will get back to you. Your ideas, your comments help me to create more videos. Finally, if you're interested in learning at all about what I do, my personal coaching for leaders, artists, musicians, sole proprietors, anybody who's a creative force in the world and creating their own things, check out my website. Also, if you're a coach and you wanna learn more about my apprenticeship or learn more about how I create coaching clients, check out my website, link down below. Much love.